Sophia from the Boys and Girls Club of North Lake Tahoe, and today we're gonna to be making friendship bracelets. I have two different types of bracelets to show you. One that's a very simple version for all of those little ones that need a little bit of extra help to do it, and one that's the standard friendship bracelet that everybody knows and loves and is a little bit harder to make. So choose the bracelet you wanna make and tune in because I will be showing you both different methods right now. <laughs> Okay, let's start with materials. You need some tape, some string, and scissors. It doesn't matter how many different colors of string you have, it just depends on how thick you want your bracelet. Okay, step one is to cut your string. I usually cut it in about two feet length. Um, it depends on how long you want your bracelet. If you're making a ring, it's gonna be very short. A necklace is gonna be very, very long. But for your standard bracelet size, you're looking for about 20 to 24 inches. After that, you wanna cut every string the same size. You also can use a string color twice if you'd like to double it up or even make your bracelet longer. Once you've tied your string together, then you want to tape it down. I find it a lot easier if you wrap the tape all the way around a few times so that it secures the top of the string in place. And then when you're done with that, you can tape the entire thing to the table. Conversely, you can also use a safety pin to safety pin it to yourself or a pillow or something like that. Um, I find it easier to work on a table, but it's up to everybody. Okay, so now what you want to do is focus on deciding what your order is and separating each string so that it is in the correct order so you start from a very clear and good space. As you can see, I was twisted a bit, so please untwist it, make sure it's nice and straight, and then we can start easily. Now that you have all of your strings in order, we can begin. The first step is to take the first two strings and make the number four. Then pull the side of the four through the middle and make a very simple knot. This is your process for everything. For each string, we are going to do this two times. The number four, pull through, and tighten the knot. Then you can get rid of the string on the middle. Take your next string and again make the number four, pull through, second time, pull through, and you're done with that string. Move that string to the side and start with the next one. You're going to repeat this process over and over until you get to the very end. Now that we've finished the purple string, we're going to move it over and it comes last. Make sure you keep the order. Sometimes it gets a little bit tangled, as you can see in my video here, but that's okay. Just straighten it out, make sure everything stays in the same order to help yourself, and then begin with the next string in line. In this case, it's the lighter purple color. Repeat the same process, make the number four, pull through, tighten the knot, do it twice for each string, make the number four, pull through, tighten the knot. Then make that string, put that string away, start with the next string, make the number four, pull through, tighten the knot, over and over.
Okay, you can see that my bracelet is wiggling around a bit, so I generally take a piece of tape and just tape it down again. Uh, that way it stays a little bit sturdy and it doesn't flip over, making it hard to keep track of your order. So keep at it guys, these bracelets do take a long time, but in the end they are really beautiful. Here's how this one turned out. I'm really happy with it, my daughter loves it. So have fun, I'm going to show you now the second version of doing this bracelet, which is a lot more simple. Okay, again for this project you're going to need scissors, string, and tape. Just like the other video, you're going to cut your string into equal lengths. This time I cut two colors of each because I wanted it to be thicker. To make the knot, it's very easy. This time, instead of going one by one, you're just gonna make your number four, pull through, but do it around all of the other strings. And instead of doing it two times, we're gonna do it five times. I just finished five with the first color blue, and now I'm going to repeat the steps with the second color blue. Try to make sure that it's not tangled up and it's, that it's nice and free there. And once you have that, grab all your strings in the one hand, make your number four, pull through, and tighten your knot. Do this five times. This is two, three, four, and five. So that means you have ten knots of the same color, making that length about a half an inch. Take your next color and repeat the same steps. Make sure that it's not tangled, pull everything straight, and begin to make your knots. Five with the first string of that color, five with the second. Just to zip through, you can see this bracelet goes quite a bit faster and it is easier. But have fun, it's still gonna take you a little while. Good luck and keep going. you really quickly, I also taped this one down to make it easier. Woohoo, you're finished. When you are done, take the tape off and we're going to tie our knot at the end. So I like to wrap it around so that it's very, very close to the end of the actual knots of the bracelet. Now you can pull the tape off the top of your bracelet and snip the leftover string off the bottom. Make sure you leave enough room to be able to tie it onto your wrist. Okay guys, I hope you had fun making Fenchy bracelets. You're probably not finished by the end of this video, but keep going and keep trying.